Hello my dear students, welcome to the MS Science Academy, myself Meenu Srivastava and today we are going to discuss about the atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a kind of disease in which the arteries thickening takes place. Okay, so first we come to the definition part. This is the thickening uh, here. Thickening of the arteries, thickening of the arteries due to the accumulation of lipid. Actually, in the uh, different kinds of the arteries, there are some deposition takes place like lipid. Lipid may uh, lipid occur in the three form basically. First is the free form lipid, second is the esterified lipid and the cholesterol form. These three are the lipid form and maybe the lipid will deposit or the other things also deposit and get constricted the arteries like the calcium, like uh, collagen fibers and the proteoglycans, proteoglycans, okay. So such kind of the depositions also occur in the arteries. So such depositions leads the thickening of the uh, arteries and when the thickening occur, so it decreases the diameter of the arteries. If the arteries diameter decreases, then what will happen? The oxygen requirement will not occur or will not take place within the time so it will injure our tissues or particular organ generally the organ or the artery generally the artery which is the most prone most common artery which is suffered from this disease that is the coronary artery the coronary artery is the artery or we can say is the duct or we can say it's a vessel which supply the blood to the heart itself as the heart also need the blood heart cells heart muscles also need the blood because they need the oxygen and they have to work 24 7 because when because the heart cells also need oxygen and that oxygen will fulfill with the help of coronary arteries okay so the atherosclerosis the most common artery which is suffered with this thickening is known as the is the coronary artery so if the coronary artery diameter will get constricted or get shrink so what will happen then the oxygen supply or the blood supply in the heart will not get in within the proper time or with no, will not get into the uh, particular time so it will take more time to fulfill the oxygen requirement so if the oxygen requirement of the heart will not fulfill within the time duration so it will lead the myocardial infarction or we can say it lead the heart attack okay leads the myocardial infarction or leads the heart attack getting my point so in the atherosclerosis the diameter the diameter of the coronary artery will get constricted other arteries and other vessels also affected but the most prominently affected which affect uh, most prominently affected tissue or blood vessel that is the coronary arteries so because it get directly affect the heart and generate the heart attack so it's a more more important uh, um, task or more important site for the development of the atherosclerosis here so here the etiology what are the causative agents which provoke such kind of the thickening first is the diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus provokes such kind of the thickening second nephrotic syndrome actually in the nephrotic syndrome which uh, which elements have to remove out from our body or the flush out from our body so the kidney will not work in the syndrome so they will remain in the blood itself and they will get deposited in the coronary artery okay and third one that is the hyper hyperlipoproteinemia means the lipid and proteins will get more in our body so they will get deposited in the arteries okay Sec next one that is a hypothyroidism actually the hypothyroidism will uh, provoke such kind of the thickening or the deposition so they will uh, just uh, etiological factor for the atherosclerosis obesity obesity is just also is kind of the factor which get deposition uh, because in the obesity why the obesity occur because we are taking more and more fat and that fat will deposit somewhere in our body and if it will uh, deposited or the constricted our blood vessels it lead the atherosclerosis here 
द हाई कंजप्शन ऑफ द सैचुरेटेड फैट हाई कंजप्शन ऑफ द सैचुरेटेड फैट द सैचुर एक्चुअली टू टाइप्स ऑफ द फैटी एसिड सैचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड और सैचुरेटेड फैट एंड सेकेंड इज द अनसेचुरेटेड फैट और अनसेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स If we are taking the food containing saturated fat, it will very much harmful. And if the food which are taking, uh, we uh, uh, if the food which contain the unsaturated fatty acid or unsaturated fat, fat, it will uh, very good for our health. Okay. So the answer, if we are routinely, if we are taking as a saturated fatty acids or saturated fat, it will provoke such kind of the depositions or atherosclerosis. Here, the excessive smoking. and the excessive alcohol consumption excessive smoking and excessive alcohol consumption uh, is also provoke such kind of the thickening next lack of the physical exercise it means that if we are just taking the food continuously if we are taking the food continuously and no, not at all doing any kind of the physical exercise obviously the fat which we are consuming in the routine level it will get deposited in our arteries okay here the hypertension if just a person is uh, having the sustainable hypertension such kind of the um, deposition or the uh, short, shorting of the diameter take place okay stress stress also the factor because such a stress induce stress induce such kind of the factors which leads the deposition and generate the atherosclerosis or provoke the atherosclerosis here now atherosclerosis as we have seen the ather in the atherosclerosis the coronary artery the coronary artery is mainly affected so the atherosclerosis and the chd the coronary heart diseases are correlated okay the atherosclerosis and the chd is correlated with the plasma cholesterol and the ldl ldl that is the low density lipid low density lipid and hdl is the high density lipid if we are taking the food in the uh, ldl which contain the ldl so such kind of the food or, or the cholesterol level is increased in our blood due to the excessive fat consumption so it leads the atherosclerosis and the chd okay but if we are taking the high density lipid because the high density lipid is good for us but the ldl low density lipid is not good for us so hdl is inversely related with the chd it means if we are taking the food uh, which contain the hdl that is good for our heart good for our health also and it reverses the chd means it is decrease the probability to generate the cardiac heart disease and if the hdl uh, if we are hdl is taking the hdl lower the risk of chd okay now come to the treatment part treatment in the treatment part there are so many factors which are uh, which we can uh, treat the atherosclerosis particularly if you are taking the antioxidants antioxidants are uh, the um, vitamin e vitamin e act as antioxidant vitamin c act and act as antioxidant and even the beta carotene also the antioxidant so if we are taking the vitamin a vita, uh, sorry vitamin uh, e vitamin c and the beta carotene in our diet regularly then it will decrease the risk of the atherosclerosis because they are antioxidant because they are antioxidant okay so vitamin e c and the beta carotene are particularly antioxidants and they reduce the risk of the atherosclerosis now the women have the low risk on for that hd uh, uh, for that chd or the atherosclerosis why is it so it is somewhat related with the hormones actually in the woman the estrogen is and they are having the estrogen which uh, which we can say which leads the increase of hdl okay and we know that the hdl lower the risk of the chd so due to the estrogen due to the presence of estrogen the woman having uh, the less risk of the chd because the estrogen provoke the hdl l level now come to the factors which can decrease the risk of atherosclerosis if we are doing the moderate exercise routinely either somewhat yoga or walking or some any kind of the exercises if we are just uh, uh, include in uh, our daily life so it will consume our excessive fat and reduce the risk of atherosclerosis so physical exercise should be 
must uh, must be included not should be now in the uh, coming uh, and the lifestyle which is lifestyle which are we are just living nowadays so in this that lifestyle the physical exercise must must be uh, included in our or scheduled in our routine life okay now the moderate alcohol consumption as we have seen that the excessive alcohol consumption excessive alcohol consumption decrease increase the increase the risk of atherosclerosis whereas if we are taking the alcohol in a moderate level so it will re reduce the risk of the atherosclerosis but it doesn't mean that ma'am ma'am saying that if we are taking the alcohol moderately then the the deposition level decreases or the deposition deposition risk will decrease i'm not saying like this i'm just saying the factors so uh, this is my advice no need to consume alcohol no need to consume alcohol in instead of the alcohol consumption you will take the fruit okay banana mango there are so many fruits in our nature just they are rich in the antioxidant they are having the lots of properties and they will just increase or just enhance your health issues okay uh, health so reduce or i say no to alcohol okay so a consumption of the unsaturated fatty acid as uh, just now i have explained that the unsaturated fatty acid is good for our health whereas the saturated fatty acid is bad for our health so the consumption of saturated fatty acids unsaturated fatty acids should be uh, include in our diet so such factors increase the hdl high density lipid as we have recently explained that hdl decrease the risk of chd and as well as the atherosclerosis also this is whole for the atherosclerosis i hope you have enjoyed my lecture in this lecture we have discussed about the definition definition means the thickening of arteries and me and these the deposit and that why is the thickening of the arteries because the deposition leads the deposition may be the calcium the lipid and the collagen the proteoglycans and we have studied that the coronary arteries is the most prominently affected this by this atherosclerosis or the de, uh, this deposition and the etiological factors like hypothyroidism diabetes mellitus and the other factors obesity less of the physical exercises like that alcohol consumption highly stressed hypertension like this we have studied and just we relate the atherosclerosis and the chd and we discussed about that the hdl is decrease the risk of the chd and the atherosclerosis and now in the treatment part we were seeing that the uh, some uh, some uh, good things to include uh, uh, scheduled in your routine life like the physical exercise no to alcohol no stress healthy lifestyle and saturated fatty acid consumptions and that uh, 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 taking the antioxidants okay and here the woman and we have studied the why the women have lower risk uh, lower risk sensation for the uh, chd and the atherosclerosis this is whole for the lecture i have enjoyed uh, i think you have enjoyed my lecture any doubt kindly ask in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe thank you